Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be creating an LPS custom for Halloween. And as you can see here, I have a few options of pets. And I believe I have two options that I really want to customize. And then we have some accessories that may or may not be part of that custom. So I have a lot of pets that are in pretty good condition, but there are a few in here that really need help. So the first two that I think need to be customized first is this little puppy. He is in rough shape. His little head is kind of broken and I did get him on Macari and someone had drew on him. So he definitely deserves a new look. Um, so he is gonna be option one. And then if I can't find a design I like for him, I think I'm gonna go with this koala because it just doesn't have a lot of color. And I just feel like it could be really cute for a Halloween. So yeah, those are the two that I'm going to decide um, between. And I can't wait to customize one of these cuties to make them look spooky and fun for Halloween. The first thing that I'm going to do is wash this cute little pup. Now that he's clean, it's time to give him a new look. So the first thing that I'm doing is covering the whole puppy in orange paint and keeping my layers super thin so that I can build up. After many, many layers, I'm finally finished with his base coat. I decided to use Jack-O-Lantern by Apple Barrel. It was the perfect orange. Now let's move on. Now that our puppy has his base coat, I want to work on some accessories. I want to sculpt him a pumpkin stem and some leaves and maybe a collar, so I'm using epoxy for that. And here is what the little pumpkin stem and leaves look like. I do need to add a little bit of texture, but I think it came out super adorable. Now that we've given our epoxy 24 hours to dry, we're going to go ahead and start on another accessory, the collar. So for the collar, I kept it super simple. I was going to add a few more details, but honestly, I think this is perfect for this little pup. Now I'm going to move on to painting the little accessories that I sculpted, and I'm going to be using chestnut for the stem, and I'm going to use this parakeet color for the little leaves on his head. I think they came out really cool. Now that I'm done painting that, I am gonna try to paint that collar. It's gonna be super difficult because it is so tiny. So I am taking my time not to get it all over him. And here's what it looks like dried. I did get it a little bit under his neck, as you can see here, but I think he's coming out so, so cute. Perfect for Halloween. And I can't wait to see him when he's completely done. The next thing that I decided to do was add little silver dots on his collar because I want it to look like it has spikes. Now I'm gonna move on to making the lines on the pumpkin and I'm gonna use my watercolor palette to do that and I think I'm gonna go with like a deeper orange. So I think I'm gonna use this color here. So now I'm just taking that color and I'm drawing lines all around the little LPS's head to look like a pumpkin. And here's what it came out looking like. I think it looks super cute. Now I'm gonna work on the face off camera. And here is our Halloween pumpkin puppy, all complete. I hope you guys like how he came out. The face was a struggle for me, so I do apologize for not recording that part. I need some more practice. But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you very soon with another video.